Hello everyone and welcome back to Rensville. This is just a, a quick video uh, I'm going to put up for uh, it's mainly for David Jones um, he's part of the uh, Model Railway YouTube community group and he's building a layout at the moment whose progress I'm following on uh, YouTube and he's doing some concrete hard standing and he's uh, just looking sort of for ideas he's used one idea but unfortunately it's it's warped when he's put the ballast down so I suggested uh, using very thin foam like I've used on my layout and so rather than uh, write a long-winded description I think pictures speak a thousand words so uh, this is what I use it's called uh, fab foam it comes in A4 sheets 50p a sheet from uh, Hobbycraft that's where it is it also comes in different colours uh, it comes in black there you go grey fab foam sheet curl fab foam because it's fabulous and it's foam and you can do lots of things with it, it like I say it comes in uh, grey white uh, black which is quite good for tarmac but it's, it, it would have to be very new tarmac because it is very black uh, but this grey is quite good they also do pink, yellow, green, blue so if you want any concrete uh, hard standing multicoloured go for it and so basically that's that's what it is it's quite um, quite thin, it's probably a bit two mil thick something like that and basically what I did uh, if the track is down like this you're going to put it up to the side like so so you get a nice edge now this if you look here sits there on the sleepers and it's down like that against the baseboard so what I did I just got some old cereal packet cut it up just to the thickness I'm sure you all understand where I'm going with this just so it's to the level, once it's glued down and the sleepers are all level that then can go straight on and it's nice and flush with the top of the track now this is code 83 track if you're using code 100 or code 75 you can just get away with using more or less cardboard shims you can just glue these down with contact adhesive or PVA glue anything and then I glued this on top just with uh, some contact adhesive just a thin bead of contact adhesive put it down and uh, it stuck a treat to do the inside in between the tracks uh, all you need to do is just get some of the foam it's hard to do with one hand but just put over the track press down and you'll be left with the uh, I don't know if you can see them there you'll be left with the imprints of the track so if you just cut on the inside when you do that it will just fit inside obviously you can just adjust it so that your wheels clear the flange is clear inside and that goes like that now that's okay when it's down I weathered it and painted it with uh, this Woodland Scenic Earth Colours it's called Concrete C1217 and it's water based and you just put some in a little uh, dish or cup or what have you and you can just brush it on it's very good stuff easily wash off and clean uh, your brushes with uh, it doesn't matter if it goes on patchy or streaky because it'll dry a nice colour and if it does dry a little bit patchy or streaky it doesn't matter because it's supposed to represent concrete so what I'll do is I'll just show you what it looks like on the layout so this is what it looks like when it's down on the layout and painted as you can see uh, I went over it just with a, a little bit of uh, black weathering powder just to weather it down a little bit and also put in the um, expansion joints just with a pencil you can also simulate cracks 
and uh, what I did as well to simulate light repaired just use a lighter colour paint uh, and you can also chip it and gouge it as you can see here uh, that's courtesy of uh, my killer cats who think the layout is a great place to jump and uh, have fun so the the gouges are made by giant cats scared the life out of these guys I'll tell you but it's also very very soft as well it's still soft so if your workman does fall over he's not going to hurt himself so I hope you get the general gist of it um, if not I'll put a better video up but like I say this was just a quick one just uh, as you say a picture tells a thousand words and that's what it looks like and the best part about it is the more you clean it with a cleaning track rubber the dirt leaves on the sides so it looks more prototypical and as I say for 50p a sheet for an A4 size it's really good value and the black you could use for uh, tarmac road but it would have to be a very brand new tarmac road but you could weather that down as well so I hope you found this useful and uh, thank you very much take care bye bye